So today I would like to go back and look at some of the oscillator modules that were released this year. So many great modules, the different developers really did an amazing job. And without these developers, VCV would have been a very different software. So if you can, please consider supporting the developers for the work in 2024 and for everything still to come in 2025. The first module I would like to show you is the oscillators module from UseX. It was released back in January and it's actually two oscillators in one module. We have also a sub oscillator, we have FM, we have ring modulation, two volt per octave inputs. It even has oversampling in the right click menu. So it really packs lots of functionality. Here I have a sequence with slips, again sequencing the oscillators. Right, I have this going through a filter. This is a filter from the same collection. Right, also the delay again from the same collection. Right, and I have some modulation here for the PWM. Right, I have both oscillators on. So to square wave. If I take the delay out a bit, maybe open the filter. Right, you hear already by default, because we have two oscillators. Right, we get this crunchy sound. And again, we have also FM and ring modulation. Here I have both oscillators tuned differently. Let me solo this for a second. I'm using here the tune module again from the same collection that helps me to detune or to um, um, transpose the oscillators by octaves, by semitones. Right, so I have them both set to different notes. Right, but instead of uh, using the individual levels, I can just use the ring modulated version. Again, again, we have also FM. And this is through linear, uh, through zero linear FM, which means that the uh, pitch will be um, kept. It will not go out of tune. Right, so I can add some modulation to this. This is going through two filters. Let me bring them in here. Again, the filter from the same collection, it has many different modes. So in this case, I'm using two comb filters in stereo, right, with different modulation. This is going um, again through a main filter and more delay. And by the way, just as a bonus, the same developer uh, released also a full synth uh, synthesizer in September. Um, right, this module here, the synth, again also from UseX. So it's a full synthesizer with um, envelopes, with filters, with modulation, internal modulation, routing. It's also polyphonic, in this case it's playing chords. I have here Harmony 2 generating chords. Right, so again a full synthesizer that you can experiment with. I have here also a bass again with the oscillators module um, again tuned a bit differently the two oscillators through a filter and some delay. Also Bizarre released two oscillators in January, so we have Please Kill Me, and we have The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Um, yes, they are both quite unique. Um, Please Kill Me has um, multiple oscillators that feed back. There are also different configurations, so if I unmute this for a second. Right, we can change the feedback, the delay, we can detune them. Right, and again, there are different modes. So here, for example, we have double, which is double the amount of oscillators. We have entangled, which is my favorite. We have echo, which is quite crazy. So I'll just go to entangled. Right, and you 
can hear, it's quite, quite interesting. I will take this maybe two octaves down, just right click the pitch knob negative two. Right, and add a healthy amount of reverb. And we got a nice bass drone. And the good, the bad and the ugly is also quite unique. It has three oscillators, uh, oscillators that cross modulate each other with FM, uh, phase modulation and so on. So if for example I will bring in the good oscillator which is here, they have a level control. Right, I can change the timbre a bit, so for example it also has feedback. But I can also bring, for example, the phase modulation, so the bad will modulate the phase of the good in this case. Right, so already we can change the timbre a bit. Right, the same with the bad, so for example, I can make the good modulate the bad. So here it's a feedback. Right, and then we have the ugly oscillator, which is much more unstable. If I bring uh, those two down for a second. Right, you can hear it has internal noise modulation. Right, and we can also use this for modulation. So if I bring back the good, for example, I can use the ugly to modulate the phase of the good. Hear how unstable it is. Right, and we can create. A really nice and unstable sound. Right, add some delay to this. I can also detune the different oscillators individually, right? So, if, for example, I can take the good and octave down, the bad and octave up. Right, so we get now a different sound. And we have also individual outputs, so here, and of course it's also polyphonic, so here I'm using a chord again from Harmony 2, and I have the bad oscillator going through lots of reverb, the good oscillator is going through Nimbus, which is a clouds clone, so it will granula granulize the signal. And I have the ugly going through a modulated bandpass filter. Right, so you can also process them individually. And I have here also a sequence again with slips and lots of modulation here with an LFO. We also got a new oscillator from CV Funk, Aurus, it was released in April and it quickly became one of my favorite oscillators, it's stereo, it has many options for adding timbre movement, it just sounds beautiful. Here I have a sequence with a Penta sequencer again from the same collection. Right, so first of all I can spread the two oscillators in the stereo field. Right, I can of course add some modulation to this, I have here the hex mode from the same collection, um, 6 LFOs that I can use, we have also feedback, right and again I will modulate this as well, position, right it's all also very visual which is quite nice, I can change the multiplication, or the ratio between the oscillators. Right, add maybe also some modulation here to the node. Add some delay to this also with, with the delay from the same collection. Right, so it's really easy just to add movement and variation with this oscillator. 
Now it's also polyphonic of course, so here I have just aesthetic chord, and in this case I'm using another module from this collection, the envelope array, uh, which is six envelopes that can cascade, you can see it here with the lights, I'm just using this to bring in the different uh, polyphonic channels. Right, so we have also a nice chord. I have here also another voice, again, the Penta sequencer, um, sequencing it with lots of modulation and some delay. And I have here also just a simple bass drone, some modulation, but nothing really too complex. We also got two beautiful VCOs from Venom. We have the VCO lab that was released in July. Uh, it really is a playground for sound design. And we have the VCO unit. Uh, this one was released in October and it's basically one oscillator from the lab more or less. Right, so here I have the VCO lab. Um, I'm using the mix output so I can bring, for example, the sine wave. Right, we have also different wave shaping. So I can modulate this, right, add some movement. I can use, for example, the triangle wave from the individual outputs here to modulate the phase of the sine wave. If I open this all the way, now I can control the amount with the level of the triangle. So also this I can modulate a bit. Right, I can bring the square wave again, modulate its level a bit and the shape or the pulse width right maybe take this two octaves down add some quotes and again we have also the VCO unit right in this case again I have a sequence with the slips right it's sequencing two VCO units and um, now I can add modulation FM, it has linear through zero FM, right? So I can use one to modulate the other. And I can also modulate the amount or the depth. Also here we can modulate the shape of both oscillators, maybe even the phase to add some instability to the pitch. Just create an interesting sound. Now both the lab and the VCO units, um, they both have a hard sync and soft sync at the same time. So you can use two different uh, modulations, um, right, two different um, sources to sync. So here for example I have two VCO units and they are syncing once the soft sync, once the sync, they are differently tuned, right? So we get an interesting sound. This is going through a modulated bandpass filter and some delay. And of course, both of them can also um, be activated and changed to be an LFO. Right, so if you right click the frequency button here, we have all sorts of options, also low frequency. So you can see I have here two VCO units cross modulating each other as an LFO. You can see the shape here on the scope. This is uh, opening a filter of another VCO unit that is playing a chord. Back in September, we got many of the 4MS modules in VCV. One of these modules is the Ensemble Oscillator, which is great for generating chords and other polyphonic voices, and it has lots of control over timbre. So here I have one going directly to the mixer. You can already hear the chord. 
Right, I can change the balance, which will change the level of the oscillators. Right, I can also modulate this, for example, with an LFO. I can spread the oscillators also pitch-wise. And also this, of course, I can modulate. Right, so already we get, we get nice movement. We also have multiple ways of changing the timbre. So here, for example, I have a sequence with the octet sequencer. Let me solo this for a second. Right, and here, for example, we have the warp, right? So we have segment distortion, we have Chebyshev distortion, and we have wave folding. Right, so I can also sequence this um, let's do this. Right, so again, really easy just to add movement and variation. And of course, we can also just use a couple of oscillators for something that is not a, a chord, for example. So here again, I have another oscillator. I'll just solo this for a second. And maybe unsolo the other one. Okay, so now in the right click menu, um, I can change the number of oscillators, by default it's 16, I can go to, let's say, just two oscillators. Right, and here we have also uh, different ways of uh, changing the chords, or in this case, if I change this to octave, we will just get, uh, get a, a spread of an octave, right? So I'll take this down. Right, and now we don't get a chord. Right, if I unsolo this, I can make this a sort of a bass. Right, so you don't have to use this for a chord. I can add, again, modulation to the warp from the sequencer. Right, something like this. I have here a nice mellow kick drum, just for fun. And of course we got many, many other oscillators also that uh, were released this year. They're all really amazing, but I couldn't show them all here. Um, but again, thank you again for the developers and um, for all your work. Really thank you. Uh, all the best for 2025. Thank you for watching. Cheers.